the NOAA support was for a six-month study, and they just want to know how many whales were left after the captures. <laughs> and we really owe this whole thing to Dr. Mike Big. And I'm, I'm sure he's somewhere around here in spirit. He's, he's, he was our mentor, friend, an amazingly uh, open person. You know, like, we, we all have a tendency to kind of, they're my whales, you know, they're our whales. <laughs> and uh, this is my catalog, or this is whatever. <laughs> Mike was not that way. And, and that's the spirit we want to carry, is Mike's spirit. Is just, I mean, the, these whales are their whales. They belong to whales. They don't belong to us. <laughs> we have the opportunity to observe and document them. And, uh, and you know, it's thanks to Mike. He, he found out that uh, first starting in 1971, I mean, he was a seal biologist. And the government said, uh, Mike, go count all the whales, you know. <laughs> like counting all the fish. <laughs> so uh, he started with the sighting system and uh, put out reports and people notified him when they saw whales on a particular day, like a bird count. And uh, then he went there and up to Johnson Strait, started taking pictures and saw that he was seeing the same whales over and over. And uh, by 1975, he had cataloged everything. So the U.S. government wouldn't believe him in courts, and the <laughs> pressure was on him. It, the captive industry was very disappointed that the population was finite, because they were arguing it was infinite. It won't hurt to catch all the whales they see here. <laughs> and that simply wasn't true. And they pilloried Mike at, at uh, regular intervals at every meeting and, and uh, in the courts. And so they had to have an American that was stupid enough to go along with, with his ideas, and they contracted me. And so on April Fool's Day, uh, Camille Goebel, Rick Chandler, and I set out in this boat named Ballena Pacifico, and we started all around the Sailor Sea. We, were, we had no limits except where weather would let us go. Uh, and we tried to find whales and photo identify them and share the pictures with Mike. And he'd, I mean, we'd take a picture and we'd say, oh, you haven't seen this one before, Mike. And he'd describe it to us over the phone. 